it is an exciting time that for the first time in the 50 years of uh, CMV vaccine development, we have a phase three trial underway, and that's uh, with Moderna, that their approach to improving on the GB MF59 subunit um, approach is to not only use an mRNA for GB, but also to add this complex called the pentameric complex, which means it's a six-membered uh, mRNA vaccine, so much more complex than our bivalent COVID, um, where you have one uh, mRNA for GB and then uh, five different mRNAs that form the pentameric complex. And um, what is exciting, I think, about that program is first it's mRNA and the safety track record of COVID. It's going to follow in the wake of that, uh, especially for you know delivery to pregnant women um, is, is important um, that we be able to give it to women no matter uh, what their age or, or status. Um, but um, uh, also that um, uh, it has, it, when in phase one studies, and um, they're just putting together, they have some preclinical studies, and they're just putting together their phase one studies now. Uh, and actually, I have, we have a preprint um, that has some Moderna phase one study results um, that I can send you the link to. Um, is um, uh, it, it is elicited better neutralizing antibodies in uh, certain cells, the, the cells that the pentameric complex are required for entry into, which is epithelial cells and endothelial cells. So there, the vaccine definitely has induced better neutralizing antibodies than the GB subunit vaccine alone, and better than that of natural immunity. So we always, we have a tenet in the CMV vaccine field is we're going to need to be better than natural immunity because natural immunity is only partially protective, even against the congenital transmission. So I see that Moderna's vaccine does that in a way that it um, makes at least a stronger response against that pentameric complex than natural immunity. And uh, its feature is it can prevent, that immunity can prevent infection of epithelial and endothelial cells. Um, whether that will be enough, I think that trial will tell. The endpoint there is um, acquisition um, of seropositive women. That's, that's not even the true uh, endpoint, of course, we care about. We care about preventing congenital infection. And so that, you know, will have to be sort of real world down the road types of studies. Um, but I think uh, a path for licensure will be seen if uh, some at least better than 50% efficacy can be gained um, from this adding the um, pentameric complex to this mRNA approach. So that's one, as I see, is very promising and will be, you know, um, important turning point really for the CMV vaccine when, once the uh, results of that study are available. I'm hoping uh, in the next year and a half. Moderna won't give us a timeline, though, because I'm sure it's based on case numbers. So um, then uh, the other promising approach uh, has been these uh, disabled um, infectious single cycle uh, vaccine um, uh, you know, mimics of the virus itself. Merck has had a recent trial again, a phase 2B trial, so not large enough uh, like the phase 3 trial that Moderna is um, uh, pursuing, but one in which um, they have just revealed and actually uh, just published their findings on their phase 2B study that followed um, acquisition. And um, it, again, kind of fell in that partially successful. 42% um, was their official um, numbers on uh, vaccine efficacy, though it did not have um, significance, it, it, the confidence intervals uh, went below one. But um, the um, if you dig into the data there, um, they uh, the way they were defining cases may have been too broad. If they narrow it down uh, to those that look like true cases, they could have even had higher, slightly higher into the 60s efficacy. So I think they're revisiting that um, approach. Is it something they should tweak and uh, put a new version into you know, a larger study? Um, they used an alum adjuvant. Uh, I think there's opportunities around adjuvants. That science has certainly um, taken off since their program began. So, uh, so that I see as one that already has good um, safety and potentially partial efficacy in a human population that um, I'm, I'm glad to see they're revisiting now. We'll